It's a little Miss Cutie Pie cookie jar. When do you see it? Never. I'm just a girl, a wonderful girl. Good. Sweetest no, it's not good morning. Good afternoon for you. It's after. It's afternoon time. It's afternoon time. It is Wednesday. And um, you might notice I didn't put up a vlog on Tuesday. I'm not, the days that I'm having live sales on Tuesdays, the only video that's going to go up on those days is my live sale. So I just got to, I'm still figuring out my whole schedule of what I want to do. But today is, I'm here at the shop in the morning. It's going to be a beautiful sunshiny day. So I am going to go out I'm gonna get out of the shop. I'm gonna enjoy the day a little bit. I'm gonna go do some shopping. Um, I'm gonna go to Relics in Spencer, Indiana. It's one of my favorite stores. I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna go to Bloomington. There's a couple stores I'm gonna go to. So I will pop in periodically. So it's gonna be a little, mainly a shop with me video today. It's like a combination because I'm I, I'm combining them. I hope that's okay. Well, it's gonna have to be okay. <laughs> It's just going to have to be okay. But I do have some eBay sales overnight, so I'm going to pull those. Well, Green Elmo sold. Green, I just listed him yesterday. Green Elmo sold. Uh, so I paid $5 for him. So be on the lookout for Green Elmo. I didn't even know he was in, in existence until today. Apparently, he's rare. And Talking Kermit sold on eBay. Hey, old Kermit the Frog here. Ah, hi ho, Kermit the Frog. I got him at the estate sale. Also with um, Green Elmo, that buyer bought. I got these in the mystery box from Riverside, the $10 mystery box. Um, turns out these vintage hosiery, they can sell on eBay, so those sold rather quickly um, the, with Green Elmo. Green Elmo is going to go to a party. He is. Uh, so those things sold on eBay. I'm going to get those shipped. I'm kind of hanging around a little bit before. Well, I mean, it's like 730 in the morning and the places don't open until like 10. So um, I'm going to get a few things done here. I do have to go to the post office and um, drop off. So, well, these these items and then and some other things that have been paid on. Well, I'm doing, I'm, well we're just going to lay you in this chair. That's what we're going to do. So, um, but I will sit down here um, in a few minutes after I get these shipped and we will do our affirmations. So we'll get that done. And um, then probably about that time, it'll be ready to go. I do have everything set up for my sale Tuesday, but you're watching this on Wednesday, so that doesn't matter. Um, I did, let me just show you really, really quick. I'm, I'm not gonna, I don't wanna take up a lot of time because I know that you're gonna, probably gonna wanna see the shop with me portion of the video, but I've got, things ready for my jewelry sale on Thursday, 1 p.m. over on Virtual Antique Marketplace. I can't remember if I showed you these or not, but I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to stand, <laughs> which is going to be interesting because I know I'm going to knock you over, but um, we've created this little board and so there will be six lots of jewelry going up at a time so it will be buyer's choice so the buyer will get to pick i'll do buyer it probably will be a buyer's choice pick one i'm not going to do pick two it's going to be buyer's choice pick one it's going to wheel this over here and then just lay the items down but mark yesterday cleaned all of them with the ultrasonic cleaner so they've all been cleaned and they are all beautiful and ready to go i don't know what you are you're it says patent pending. I don't know what this is. I am not. I'm just going to say this right now. I don't know anything about jewelry. I mean, I look for marks and I know to look for sterling. And I do have some sterling rings that, that are marked that I did set aside. This is not my forte. So you could be getting a great deal. I don't know. I, I do know. I can tell the difference between like what the age of jewelry pieces are. But for the most part, I don't know. My favorite, I would say my favorite piece out of everything that I'm going to be selling on Thursday is this piece right here. With that stone and then the hieroglyphs. I think this is probably from the 1920s during that whole revival. Um, you know, the Egyptian revival. That's going to be my guesstimate. But I think that it's lovely. And like I said, who knows? I've had this jewelry for a long time. We've got some Aurora Borealis. And, you know, I can tell by the facets and the brackets 
the age of them. Like this peacock, while she's very lovely, she's not, I mean, she might be vintage, but she's not like from like the 50s. Not like this with those facets. So I am going to be looking for some more jewelry pieces today. I don't even know what that is for. It's some kind of a buckle, probably for a belt or a sash, maybe. Some beautiful bracelets here as well. They've all been cleaned. Um, but here are the rings. These right here are sterling. Now, this one right here has a sterling um, surround. No, what was it? I can't remember. I think the 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 bra the ring part is sterling but the surround is not so these right here are all sterling um i don't have a ring sizer either so I, I don't know i may not be able to sell the rings until i purchase me a ring sizer turns out this was in the thing this is a family heirloom i'm actually i <laughs> i uh, i i'm keeping this one I actually, it was my grandmother's apparently. I actually have the pennant on and I'm going to be wearing it, but it has the matching bracelet. I didn't know that until I was informed because it was just mixed in with all this other jewelry. So this, I, I'm i not gonna sell. Look at these earrings. Go, you got your money bags. You got your saddle, your gun with your jewels and your guitar. Those are honky tonk earrings right there. This, I don't know, some of you that have been around for a long time, you remember I went to an auction a couple years ago and I bought a lot of lens items. This is one of the chokers. Uh, Mark cleaned it. and it, I mean, I left this paper towel here because it was nasty. So you do have, I guess, I don't know, if, if you're weirded out by dirty jewelry, all this has been cleaned. Some lockets. Anyway, I don't want to go too much into it because that'll take up the whole video. But that's going to be Thursday at 1 o'clock. All right. I'm going to um, pack up these things and then we'll do our affirmations. Okay. Our daily affirmations. I still have wet hair. Oh, well. It's going to be warmer today. All right. Today is not April. Why do I keep saying it's April? It is February. February 5th. Daily affirmations. Um, a year of positive thinking. February 5th. Breathe in, let go. So stop and take a look at your own needs. Go mindless. Let go. And remind yourself that this is very... That, that, and remind yourself that this very moment is the only one you know you have for sure. Well, that's from Oprah Winfrey. Stop and take a look at your own needs. Go mindless. So it means don't think about it. Let go and remind yourself that this very moment is the only one that you know of for sure. So yeah, I mean, you got to live in the moment. I guess that's what Oprah is trying to say. We got to live in the moment. We can worry about the what ifs and this, that, and the other, but you got to worry about what's going on today. That's what we need to do. All right, now we're doing our happier me affirmation cards. It's going to pull one. Let's see, Oprah. Oprah, are you talking to us today? I wake up today with joy in my heart and clarity in my mind. I don't know about that one. My mind is like a hamster wheel blah, 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 all the time. But this card says, this is an amazing affirmation to help you start your day, to feel energized. Make a conscious decision today to have a good day, to have a great day. That's important. You have to wake up and say like, you know what? The sun is out today. The sun is out today. And I get to go picking. Two great, two great points in the day. So, all right, I will be putting this in with, into somebody's package. I got two boxes of friend mail sitting right here in front of me and I will, I'm gonna put them right here in front of me and when I get to the shop in the morning, I'll open these first thing. So we'll do that in our affirmations. We'll do that in the morning before I have a sale and a meeting tomorrow, but we're gonna do that first, first thing. But right now we're gonna go to the post office and then we're gonna go shopping. So come along with me. All right, I have made my way here to Spencer, Indiana to go to one of my favorite stores, and that is Relics. Relics, so let's go in and see what we can get today. So sweet little things. Oh, $9.50. Isn't that so cute? 
that is a very, very cute little Valentine. Oh, look at you, girl. Look at you, girl. That there's a doll on that Valentine for twenty-two fifty. Girl, you're plastered to that. Oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> you want some tea out of my carrot? You pour that for you. Little tea. Little tea party with your carrots. There's always just such fun things to see. Oh, look at you. Look at you, sir. I found him irresistible. It's a little tintype in there. Male portrait. I like that. That is so cool. Oh, look at these. Look at these girls. Caution, keep out. Hazardous material storage area. Those girls are zombies. Love it. I love it. I like her sense of humor. Look at you, Bunny. You are bedazzled with your pearls. Oh, I like this. That's actually a porcelain brooch on you. I like that. Oh, look at you. Equally, equally fabulous. Okay, well, this is a pretty little box here, too. For $6, that's beautiful. Very romantical. Oh, look at you, Cupid. Oh, you're two fifty. I think you're fabulous. Right. Meow, meow, meow. On the farm, this is nice. This is, looks to be in wonderful condition. In the metal lunchbox of the barn. Hi, puppers. Twenty-two dollars. Oh, look at all the Wade whimsies. Three dollars each. That's a lot of Wade whimsies in there. There's a little deer. I might get a couple of these because I know people like them for their little printer's drawers. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is a Noah's Ark Wade with the animals. Two of every animal. And there's Noah. Noah and Mrs. Noah. $75. That doesn't seem like it's that bad of a deal, honestly. But we've got two. Well, there's not two dogs. But that's pretty neat. I have never seen that. Oh, look at These are my favorite things to find. Look at you, buddy. Oh, I don't know where to put you where I can look at you a little bit better. You're jointed. Look at your little button nose. He's $23. I just love these little fellers. They're getting so hard to find too, but he is fabulous. I love you, buddy. There's little orphan Annie. Who are you? We've got some dollhouse people in here for ten dollars. Look, there's Pippi Longstocking and Magic Stay on dresses. Donald and Daisy. That's never even been opened. That's still sealed. Hi, baby. Plasto poke pack poke plasto eleven dollars for this little baby baby Sophie is she not here? <laughs> she's fifteen and she's getting cataracts. Oh bless her! Hey, oh. hi Sophie. This is the mascot of relics. That's little <laughs> Sophie. There's always such beautiful things in here. And it's all curated so lovely. Look at this. This is $20 for this. It's been reframed, but that is an antique frame. But isn't that precious? It says Maud Humphrey. But I think that's beautiful. And the matting is a really trendy color. It's like a little winter scene. She's got holly behind her. But I think that that is just pretty. I think I might get that for $20. Oh, look at these ladies. Look at the bathing beauty ladies. They're $55. Now, I've seen these and they've been mermaids. But these are little bathing beauty ladies. Those are great. Snow babies. Okay. 
There's a Fenton chicken. I just had a sale with Alex chapter two and she had a rooster. So I'm gonna get that little Fenton chicken. And look at this little bitty Henri. It's $40, it's so itty bitty. And then we've got the Fenton bird for 30 with the little bluebirds on his back. That's so pretty. Oh, look at this beautiful butterfly brooch, too. It's 25 And I love that little um, heart trinket box. So I think I might get a few things in here. I've got some eggs down there. And then I was looking over here. Uh, this is like a Taiwan uh, vase, but it's a beautiful aqua blue color. And look at this one. This one is... This might be... Gosh, I have a... Are you Old Virginia? This is Old Virginia glass. You can see that. Well, can't, you can kind of see. But that's a beautiful one there. That blue. That's beautiful. I love that. Like, this is all the blues over here. Look how pretty this is. This paperweight. That's gorgeous. Paperweight signed and dated. Isn't that beautiful? That iridescence on there? It does. Sign and dated, but I can. Are you sign and dated? I can't tell. I can't see your sign, your signature. <laughs> but that's beautiful. How much? How much are you? You're eighteen dollars. These are beautiful too. These glasses. What does it say? Carnival glasses. Twenty dollars for the set of them. Those are beautiful. Look at that. Aren't those pretty? This is a beautiful piece of Jefferson glass here. Isn't that gorgeous with that green? That's beautiful. That lattice on there. I love that. And this carnival glass here too. I mean, we're coming upon, you know, St. Patrick's Day. So these would be great for a St. Patrick's Day display. So I might get, I might, I might be interested in that. Um, I'm just going to kind of take everything in first and then kind of make my decisions. Ooh, what are these? These are different candles. Look at that. Those are interesting, aren't they? They're like ribbon on there. That's different. Great piece of furniture here too. Then we open it up and we've got little funsies on the inside. Some Shawnee shakers. Look at this little enamel pot. Little child's enamel pot for seven dollars. That's itty bitty and adorable. What's on this side? <gasps> More little bitty fun. Look at the little teapot. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. And a little bucket that's like porcelain enamel bucket. For six dollars. I just think that those are adorable. The little bail. I might need to work on that little handle, but that is stinking adorable. Do I need any books? No. Am I going to look at them? You know I will. Good times on our street. I don't. Let's see. There's two of these. I do not need. I, oh, there's. I turned to the circus. Of course I did. Five in the family. There's more down there. I might look through some of those. I don't need any more books, though. I have a lot. And I need to sell the ones that I have before I'm out buying more. These pottery pieces are beautiful. $10. What is this? Mm. Do you, are you a wick? Is that a, a wick? What does it say? Pot. I don't know if you put something in there and it burns. Almost like a little lantern. I love pottery. Oh, and we've got bears. We love our bears. I'm still on the fence. I may end up getting that jointed bear that I, we saw up up there for 25. He's tugging at my heartstrings a little bit. So this booth here is, I love this booth, and she's got 20% off anything over $5. So we always find stuff over here. Oh, look at this. <gasps> That's gorgeous. How much is this? It says as is. Let's see. Late 19th century. Oh, it's $15. I mean, that's just, that's gorgeous. 
definitely getting that. That's beautiful. There's more books down there. I'm going to have to sit down and go through. Well, I'm not, oh, well, who knows? I may sit down. I've been known to sit down on the floor. Look at these. I don't, these are like pieces of fabric that have been starched. Love and kisses. I mean, you could use them as doilies. You could do them like crap. Oh my gosh, look at this one. My one and only. I don't know. How, oh, oh, they're a dollar each. My one. Oh my gosh, my one true love. Those are adorable. Oh my gosh, okay. I have him. I've got this set and I keep forgetting to bring him to the shop. To my love. So he's $20. He's Ross bro. You know, you see a lot of the Valentine ones and the Christmas ones with like Santa and the sled. You don't see a lot of Valentine's Day. I have, I actually have both of these. The one I have, he is, this one's like really nicely painted. So it would be 20% off of $20. Yeah, I'm really cool painting Misty except for my forehead. It's got something on there, but that's okay. Cause I'm still pretty cool. Look, there's the little, the little popcorn cupie. I've sold the big one finally but he's $15 I can't resist him he's so little and cute he's 20% off as well and look at this baby die cut it says die cut $5 well I think we're gonna get you baby you're in love Charlie Brown didn't Charlie Brown fall in love with the girl with the red curls or the girl with the red hair wasn't that that whole story with him? I think it was. Look at these she's made. I love you, V for Valentine. It's $5 to my Valentine sweetie. This one's cute too. Look at that. You are the only one I love. Be my Valentine. It's $4 and they're both 20% off. Those are pretty cute. Oh my goodness. Who remembers cassette singles? Raise your hand. Do you remember cassette singles? Because I do. This is, I can feel the coming in the air tonight. Oh, I was going to look at here. Like, this is like the worst movie ever made, or the worst game ever made. But we recently acquired an Atari, and I kind of want to play E.T. So, I might get that horrible game. What else do we got here? We got Star Wars right here, too. The Empire Strikes Back. I might get a hold of Mark and see if he wants any of these games for our Atari. I don't know. I mean, like, oh, there's strawberry shortcake. Okay, well, it's untested, but I think we might have to get strawberry shortcake and play it on our Atari. Oh, it's bright and shiny in here, but I just left Relics. I love that store. If you are in the Spencer area, oh, sorry, my audio book is coming on. I'm also, let me just tell you, into the last train to Memphis, it's, you know, because I'm, you know, because I'm like, I'm, I'm on an Elvis kick right now, so I'm the audio book. I'm listening to that right now, but Relics is a great place. If you're in the Spencer, Indiana area, come on in. It's so, so nice, and it's it's a smaller store, but man, there's all kinds of good treasures in there, so come into Relics if you were in the area. I did get a, quite a few things. I showed you most of them. I like to not show you every single thing, because I want it to be a little bit of a surprise, but when I'm vlogging, Tomorrow, I will be unwrapping things, so you'll see a little bit more of the items that I got then. I'm, I'm trying to figure out where I want to, want to go. I thought I might go somewhere, but I think I might not. I think I might go somewhere else. So once I'm at the next place, I'll let you know where I'm going to be, but it might be a little bit of a drive to get there. It's 12 right now, so I'll let you know once I get there, but love relics. It's a great place. All right, I drove about 45 minutes and I'm in Terre Haute, Indiana at Shady Lane Antique Mall. Never been here, so I don't know what to expect, but we're gonna see what we can find today. It is very shady. It looks like this used to be like some sort of a hotel, maybe, but we'll see. We'll, we'll go ahead and check it out. Oh, look at this little baby. Look at you, you've got a, that's not your original clothes, but you're kind of cute. This little, composite doll here. She's really pretty too. She's 19. Little Orphan Annie. That's two days, two times in a row we've seen Little Orphan Annie. She, I think she is Snow White. 
She appears to look at you. She got her stockings and her original shoes. I do believe she's Snow White. She's 19. Oh, yeah, it says Disney Snow White. I don't know if she's Mark Disney. Now, she's not Mark Disney anywhere, but a little tag says that she is Disney. This is all kinds of Barbies and cabbage patches and stuff. And this booth, some vintage Barbie clothes and that sort of thing. I did get a few things. I got an antiseptic. I don't know. I like these crown well, chalk boxes. The devil. Right there. For $2. And then this little clover stopper. I got a bottle. I'm sure I can find a bottle to put that stopper in. Oh, Mark would have liked to have been here. Look at all of the toys. Unfortunately, he has to work. Oh, hi, baby. Look at you. Hi, baby. Your little head's dented in. Look at you, little boy doll. You're cute. Very, very cute. I love the dolls. Some composite dolls over here. and Some beautiful glass. $24, $20. So not bad prices at all. These are really pretty. Ha! Ha, girl, you got teeth. You're 65. Aren't these pretty? They're like little, um, I don't know if they're perfume or vanity. Pair of per perfume jars for $12. I think those are really pretty. They've got this like gold mica glitter on them. You get them both for $12. They have their stoppers, so I think I am going to get those. You're cute little baby. This is beautiful too. It's also $12 with that sanded glass stopper. So... I don't know. I might get that too. Well, I'm definitely, I'm definitely going to get these. Well, I just tried to call Mark. I got him a couple of the He-Man figures, but I was like, oh, I wish you were with me. And he said, I wish I was with you too. But I did get him a couple of them that he didn't have. So what's this little Piero guy? Your little bell. Who are you? Are you Jenny? You're a Jenny Scuba. Scuba? Scuba. Well, you're 149, Jenny. We're going to leave you up there. But here is a box of Nancy Ann dolls for 55 I've still got to do that video. I haven't forgotten. I promise. I just haven't done it yet. Oh, look at up there. Look at the Wizard of Oz dolls. we got Dorothy, the Scarecrow, the Tin Man, and the Cowardly Lion. I think they're all homemade. They're $99. Those are pretty cool. Okay, I'm... <sighs> She, I, you don't ever see this. I'm just saying. This is in pristine condition. There isn't a thing wrong with her. But she, other than she's $225. But oh my gosh. It's a little Miss Cutie Pie cookie jar. When do you see it? Never. I wish it was $100. I'd buy it for $100. All right, Shady Lane. They had a lot of nice things in there. A lot of booths were running a sale, so that was good. I got a few things in there. Um, I loved that. Oh, gosh, that little biscuity. I couldn't pay that much for it. That was actually a little over retail, but so hard to find. So they probably are like, I mean, I don't blame them for putting that price on it, honestly, because it's a, such a rare piece to find with zero chips. No chips at all. All right, it is 2.44. I'm going to go to one more place, and uh, it's seven minutes away, and then I'm going to start heading home. I would like to be home before dark, and I'm about an hour and a half or hour and 45 minutes from home, so I'm going to go to one more place. Hopefully, it'll be good, and then I'm going to head home. Hi, I'm home now. I forgot to end the vlog earlier, so I'm going to end it right now. I just got home. It's I got home before dark. I'm the type of person that when I'm out and about and like going a couple hours, I like to be home before dark. I, my, at my age, I feel like when it's dark, you should be in your pajamas and at home, you know? But I made dinner, uh, pork chops, sweet potatoes, green beans, but my kitchen's a, a real big mess right now, so we're not gonna go in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Um, and thank you for going shopping with me today. You kept me company. We've got some stuff today. When I get to the shop tomorrow, I will, um, I'll unwrap the stuff and we'll do like a, like a collective. I'll show you everything. So if you want to see everything that I got today, make sure that you watch the vlog tomorrow on Thursday. I am going to go visit my daughter this weekend. So 
I'll be vlogging our little trip there. I will be getting some stuff edited and up on the Misty Show. I have neglected that channel and I've got to be filming some stuff because I'm far behind on getting that stuff filmed and edited and, and all that. So bear with me, I'm sorry. But if you're not subscribed, go subscribe. Even though I haven't put anything up in a week, but I'm working on it. But thank you guys so much for shopping with me. And again, I will be vlogging tomorrow. That will go up on Wednesday. And then I'll vlog on Wednesday and that will go up on Friday. So I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys. Hello friends, thanks so much for watching the video. Don't forget I have a second channel, The Misty Show. I would love for you to come over and follow me. Also, don't forget that I have live sales every Tuesday at one o'clock Eastern, right here on my YouTube channel. And go ahead and check out the Virtual Antique Marketplace. It is an online antique mall. There's lots of different booths and lots of different sellers. So go check that out. The link to everything is down in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and I will see you in the next one. Red hot mama, red hot mama, but I have to turn my temper down.